Yo, what is up guys, FCU here, back with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing the Marvin Ziegler in form from last week. I bought him for 40k, he's around 45 to 50k right now on Xbox, and so he's gone up a little bit in price, but I kind of sniped him, and as you can see there, he's 6'1", and he has high medium work rates. His acceleration 79, sprint speed 86, and over on the right there's physical stats, 87 stamina and 87 strength. So pretty solid stats for this card. Let's just see how he plays in game. So Marvin Ziegler is probably one of the better left backs in the Prem at the moment, uh, his inform card at least. And he's sitting around 45 to 50k on Xbox and around 40 to 45k on PS4. So to start talking about his card, we will talk about the positives of it first, and then we will move on to the negatives. So the first positive thing that I found to be really great about Ziegler was his attacking runs that he made. So as you can see in this example, he plays a little 1-2 with the midfielder, gets it back and runs down the line, and plays it into the forward, and the forward just does a little turn, and we score a goal off of his attacking uh, positioning. Here's another example where Ziegler gets forward and he just plays it into Jesus and he takes around all the defenders and just scores the easy finesse. Here's another example, he makes a great run on the outside and shoots it and actually wins a pen for us. So the second trait that I am going to be talking about is Ziegler's uh, strength and his tackling, so basically two traits uh, in one. Now, Ziegler's stamina and strength are both 87, so he it wasn't a surprise that he was really, really strong on the ball and off the ball. And also his tackling, both of his stats, the standing tackle and the sliding tackle, are 82, so that wasn't a surprise to me either. So another trait that was pretty solid on his card was his marking in the box, or his tracking back, as you can see there, just getting that ball away, which probably would have been a goal if he wasn't there. And also here, he tracked all the way back from his attacking position and won the ball. So now that we have talked about his attacking runs, his strength, and his tackling, I think it's time to get on to the important stuff, his shot and his dribbling, which were both really great for me. He got forward a ton with those great attacking runs, which is also a very important trait, and was able to get a ton of shots away. Now what also helped him with getting forward was his dribbling. He was able to just weave by defenders. Uh, his dribbling wasn't too high on his card, but he just beat defenders pretty easily like here and won quite a few fouls for me uh, in the process. So here you can see he puts it all together. The dribbling just beating the defenders and he really just ran through the whole team and just finished it bottom corner, absolute bang. And that's just what he can do when he's on the ball. Here's another example here where he beats the defenders and that one goes top bins. Even with the slide tackle coming in, he just manages to squeeze it past and he's just really good. So one last thing that was not notable but important to touch on was his passing. He had some pretty decent passes through to the forwards which I found pretty helpful. So now let's get on to the negatives of this card. He didn't have very many but the ones that he did were pretty huge downfalls. So the first thing that I noticed was he was kind of clumsy. Here's just a really good example. He kind of just barges into Sterling as he's taking it in when he could have just shielded it and won the ball back. And they actually get a pen for that. And the other two downfalls are his acceleration, which is just really bad. As you can see there, just getting outpaced. And we almost get, well not really almost get scored on, but we get beat. And also his cost was kind of pricey, 50k for a card like this is just way too much when you can get like an Ashley Young or a Luke Shaw for much less. So what I thought of Marvin Ziegler was he was a pretty solid left back uh, when thinking about it, but he wasn't like great considering his price, so rating of cost 6.5 out of 10 and an overall rating of 8 out of 10 because like I said he was a very solid player for me, it's just he was pretty pricey. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think of this guy if you end up using him. And I'll see you guys in the next one.